In 1965, an American journalist wrote an article about the Pontiac GTO. In this article he described this powerful beast as a muscle car, which quickly was popularized as a car type of its own. Numerous companies jumped into making similar cars, creating a unique community of cars, even though very few models of muscle cars are made. These legends are some of the most recognizable cars to the people, especially on the US, they turn heads, make hearts race, in short, they represent the American horsepower. But what exactly are muscle cars and why are they called like that? These iconic vehicles are powered by an engine that is like a force of nature, typically with massive V8, which consists of eight cylinders in the shape of the V letter. But why a V8? It's simple, more cylinders make more power. The V8 configuration also allows for a larger displacement, in this way making room for more air and fuel to be mixed and ignited, making a bigger bang. Yes, it's the kind of power that grips you to your seat when you hit that gas pedal, making every acceleration feel like a shot of adrenaline straight into your veins. But it's not only about the numbers and horsepower, these cars are about the feeling, character, and very importantly, that V8 sound. What the hell are you doing? Keeping the engine on. A roar that screams on the streets, making a statement of dominance, a sound that is like music to the ears of car enthusiasts. That's what makes a muscle car, a muscle car. However, it is not only about the numbers on the horsepower meter. It's all about the feel, character, and sound. It's a growl, a roar that reverberates through the streets like a statement of dominance. That distinct muscle car sound is like music to the ears of enthusiasts, and it is an important part of what defines a muscle car. And let's talk about the engine. These cars have big engines that translate fuel into a lot of power, like having a larger canvas for the car to create a bigger masterpiece of speed and performance. When the muscle car term appeared in the US for the first time, it referred to a specific type of high-performance cars, with powerful engines, aggressive muscular-like styling, and focus on the straight line speed, which makes them very popular choice for drag racing, but they can handle well too. And the best part of all this, is that these legends are very affordable compared to high-end sports cars, yet delivering many things that sports cars offer, and this also opened them up to a larger market, especially young car enthusiasts. How did this all start you might ask? It was the Pontiac GTO, the first ever muscle car, regarded as the OG, that started the entire craze. It debuted in the 1960s with a powerful V8 engine and an instantly recognizable design. The GTO established the parameters for what a muscle car should be, fast, loud, and bold. This era peaked in the late 1960s and early 1970s, when iconic models such as the Ford Mustang, Chevrolet Camaro, Dodge Challenger, and Pontiac GTO dominated the market. But unfortunately, stricter emission standards, rising fuel prices, and shifting consumer preferences all contributed to a decline in traditional muscle car production by the mid-1970s. Yet, the spirit of the muscle car refused to be extinguished, with a new chapter unfolded in the late 20th century and beyond, marking the beginning of a modern muscle car era. One notable contender in this revival was the Ford Mustang, which underwent a transformative evolution. The Mustang maintained its iconic status while adapting to the demands of the new era, capturing the hearts of both seasoned enthusiasts and a younger generation eager to experience the thrill of a true American muscle car. But Chevrolet and Dodge re-came to the party a bit later, by late 2000s, in this way rebuilding the classic competition, but in a modern way. And if you are wondering if other countries make muscle cars as well, and not only just US, the answer to that question would be both, yes and no. While the term muscle car is closely associated with American automotive culture, other countries have produced high-performance vehicles that share similar characteristics. However, these vehicles go by different names other than muscle car and have distinct cultural contexts. For example, in Australia, the term muscle car refers to powerful rear-wheel drive vehicles such as the Holden Monero and Ford Falcon GT. In Europe, particularly in Germany, similar high-performance vehicles are known as sports sedans or sports saloons. BMW M Series, Mercedes AMG, and Audi Sport models all produce powerful sedans and coupes with characteristics similar to traditional muscle cars. Japan has also produced sports cars with impressive power and performance. Cars like the Nissan GTR and Toyota Supra are well known for their high performance levels, but not considered muscle cars. In conclusion, the term muscle car is associated only with American automotive history, 
but very similar high-performance vehicles exist in other parts of the world under different names. These vehicles frequently reflect the automotive culture and preferences of their home regions. But enough about other cars, let's go back to these American legends and talk some details about them. Since it's the OG, we'll start with the Pontiac GTO. Introduced in 1964, this car featured a 6.4-liter V8 that produced an impressive 325 horsepower and 400 pound-feet of torque. This really was something at the time, and with 3,500 pounds of weight or around 1.5 ton, this car felt really balanced on the road. Now, when it comes to American muscle cars, it's nearly impossible not to mention the Ford Mustang, which debuted in 1964. This car was designed not only to get you somewhere, but also to do that in style. The design was game-changing, sleek, aggressive, and undeniably cool. The Mustang drew attention wherever it went. The iconic fastback silhouette, galloping horse emblem, and triple taillights combined to create a visual masterpiece. Fast forward to now, this is still one of the most desirable muscle cars, which by the way, has the most units of muscle cars sold on the last year of 2023. The Chevrolet Camaro is also a true American muscle car icon. Born in response to the Ford Mustang's galloping success, the Camaro debuted in 1966, kicking off one of the most legendary automotive rivalries. This car derives its name from a French word, which means comrade or friend. Chevrolet wanted a name that sounded cool and expressed a sense of friendship and this linguistic twist not only gave the Camaro a unique name, but also added a touch of international flair to this American muscle car. Camaro's design, however, is a bit different from the Mustang, yet keeping it on a similar shape. It features more straight lines, rather than Mustang's roundy ones. But man is it a beautiful car, from the unmistakable front grille to the iconic body lines that scream speed even when stationary, the Camaro has a magnetic presence that draws attention. But the Dodge Challenger also entered the muscle car community in 1970. Its design is more similar to the Camaro than Mustang, which includes the iconic split grille and aggressive stance. However, the Challenger encountered difficulties during the oil crisis and the changing automotive landscape of the 1970s. Although production ended in 1974, the spirit of the Challenger remained, waiting for its chance to return. Fast forward to 2008, and Dodge unveiled the new Challenger again, yeah, true legends never die. This modern incarnation paid homage to its predecessors, capturing the essence of the classic muscle car while incorporating modern design and performance. We won't go into details about this one but Dodge also has a very popular muscle car, the Dodge Charger, which debuted in 1966 and quickly became synonymous with American power and performance. And here's the best part of these cars, they are not just cars, they're like communities. Meetups, car shows, and races bring enthusiasts together to share stories, swap tips, and celebrate their shared passion for these legendary cars. These cars are in an unending rivalry, but in this rivalry, there is no clear winner. Each car has had its moment of glory, whether on the drag strip, the racetrack, or the city streets. The Mustang, Camaro, and Challenger have evolved into symbols of American automotive passion, with each having its own fan base. This rivalry evolved over time. The Mustang continued to charge into the future, embracing innovation while remaining true to its roots. The Camaro's relentless pursuit of speed honed its design and performance, leaving an indelible mark on the racetrack. The Challenger, unwavering in its dedication to raw power, continued to push the envelope, demonstrating that muscle cars could thrive in a modern era. So, who wins this eternal rivalry? The answer is found in the passion of the enthusiasts, the roar of the engines, and the stories written on the pavement. In the end, the Mustang, Camaro, and Challenger all triumph in their own unique ways, embodying the spirit of American muscle cars that refuses to be constrained by time or competition. As the asphalt remains the battleground, this legendary rivalry endures, making sure that the thrill of speed and the love of muscle cars will always have a place on the open road. In the ever-escalating horsepower war among muscle cars, the latest offerings from Ford, Chevrolet, and Dodge are pushing the performance envelope to new heights. The most powerful cars from them so far are the Ford Mustang GTD, expected to produce 800 horsepower, the Chevrolet Camaro ZL1, which makes 650 horsepower, and the Dodge Challenger SRT Superstock, that produces an impressive 807 horsepower. 
But as much as these cars are in the rivalry, they also are a unified community of muscle cars. Despite their different badges and histories, these three icons have common threads that bring fans together in a celebration of power, style, and the undeniable allure of American muscle. The passion for these muscle cars extends beyond brand loyalty to a shared appreciation for the thrill of horsepower, the distinct roar of AV8, and the timeless allure of classic design. The bond between muscle car enthusiasts is evident at gatherings where Mustangs, Camaros, and Challengers coexist peacefully. Enthusiasts gather at car events, cruises, and races not to prove one brand's superiority over another, but to celebrate their shared love of powerful engines, intriguing designs, and the sheer joy of driving. The community is not defined by rivalries. Rather, it thrives on mutual respect and a shared understanding that these vehicles, in all of their diversity, contribute to a shared legacy. So whether you drive a Mustang, Camaro, or Challenger, you are part of a larger community that goes beyond brand loyalty. And there is more to this legacy. While the Ford Mustang, Chevrolet Camaro, and Dodge Challenger dominated the spotlight, several lesser-known muscle cars attempted to carve out a niche in the fiercely competitive world of high-performance vehicles. These underdogs may not have achieved the same level of fame, but they made significant contributions to the diverse landscape of muscle cars. We will not talk a lot about them, but here are some noteworthy mentions. The AMC Rebel Machine, which debuted in 1970, the Plymouth Duster 340, introduced in 1970, Ford's Lincoln Mercury division produced the Mercury Cyclone, which was overshadowed by its Ford Torino and Mustang siblings, and the Buick GSX, that was introduced in 1970. These lesser-known muscle cars may not have become as iconic as their more famous counterparts, but they exemplify the spirit of innovation and competition that defined the muscle car era. Each of these underdogs contributed to diversifying the market and providing enthusiasts with alternatives to well-known brands. Sadly, in the future, we might miss the V8s, as we look into the crystal ball of car evolution, a new chapter of electric muscle cars might slowly unfold, but the promise of speed is still as strong as ever. Going from 0 to 60 becomes an instantaneous affair, a blink and you'll miss, a sprint that defies what we thought was possible in the world of muscle cars. But as we ride the wave of change into the electric era of muscle cars, it is critical to recognize and respect the wide range of viewpoints that shape the automotive landscape. After all, change is like a winding road that is both exhilarating and challenging. Some may be hesitant to embrace this change, preferring the familiar symphony of revving engines and the smell of burning rubber. And you know what? That's perfectly fine. Preferences are as diverse as the muscle car lineup itself. It's okay to feel a twinge of nostalgia for the rumble of an engine and the visceral connection to a car's mechanical heart. But sometimes change is unavoidable. It's the engine that drives progress, and in the ever-changing automotive industry, it's a force we can't ignore. After all, every turn in the road takes us somewhere new, and who knows, it might even be a place we come to love. So there you have it. The history, the characteristics and the stories that makes these cars, muscle cars. From the Pontiac GTO, regarded as the first muscle car, to the iconic Mustang, Camaro, and Challenger, each with its own story of power, style, and adrenaline-pumping excitement, we've traveled through the heart of American automotive history. What is your fondest muscle car memory? Which muscle car are you a fan of? Are you a fan of the classics, or does the prospect of electric muscle cars excite you? Leave your comments below, and let's keep the conversation going. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed, we'll see you in the next one.